Good morning, guys. I wanted to show this to you. Uh, the first year we moved here, I looked for a tree sale. And most of the time, your counties will have one. See, this one is my county. It's a, it's a combination of the three counties. We're so little and so unpopular where I live. Um, this is a tree sale order. So, and it shows that they're due Wednesday, April 12th. Uh, I have found that they can sell out of some of the stuff that you're looking for if you're specific about what you want. But I want to show you the prices. Um, we have to do pickups. Uh, they prefer the order online. Oh. Ooh, look, they've got drinking well waters for nitrate. I'm going to do that. I'll have to do that first thing in the morning, so I'll be the first one there. So, Friday at noon. It's May 5th. I could be there at noon. It's not far from the school. I'll just swing by on my way to the school. Uh, tree 2 protectors. I bought some from a forestry service because they were cheaper. I have some of that. Equipment for rent. Oh, that's pretty good. See, so what you want to look for when you look for your county extension, your county. They have resources that a lot of people don't even know about. I know in Pierce County, back out in Washington, they actually had a chicken butchering equipment, which included the plucker, the scalder, uh, the cones, included all that stuff, not the knives. Uh, that you could rent and it was cheap to rent it was like 40 bucks a day i mean that's dirt cheap and we never used it because we only did a handful and then we did ducks and they don't ducks are hard to do easier to skin but then you don't get the skin but so okay so we'll took here look here we're talking about apple trees and these are now because this is put on by my county all these are going to be perfect for my county and they're going to be in my variety so i'm not going to have to worry about whether or not will they grow in my climate my zone so my options for here where's the honey crisp ambrosia royal empire yellow newton reliance peach that's the one i got before italian plum and then look what they've got here Tells you when they ripen, the taste, the texture, the zones. And that's all the zones I've got. I've got that. Honey Crisp is three to six, which is really nice. Um, I've got the prices. If you get four, it's $86. That's cheap. Because look at that. It's $22.50 per tree. I have a plum trees. You can get four quantity. If you buy four, they're $21.50. Okay, so there's your apple trees. And then we've got conifers. And it's really little. White cedar, red pine, white pine, uh, pine, jack pine. And it's got a nice description of, of each of them. Um, I bought some of these black spruce because they're native. And then I bought, so you can get plugs. Or you can get bare roots. I kind of like the plugs. Uh, and here it talks about they've got red oak, red pine, jack pine, white pine, balsa pine, Norway, black spruce, white spruce, tamarack, white birch, yellow birch. Last year I bought tamarack and cedar and planted. This year I bought white spruce, a uh, black spruce. And then they've got the hy one hydrangea that lives here, and I, I might order one. Uh, wild grape, red oak. Mountain ash, which I didn't know you could eat the berries, but you can. They're not very good. And the nice lilac, um, black walnut, hazelnuts. I bought a bunch of hazelnuts. I bought a pack of, I think they came in 10 or 20. Uh, winter berry, American plum. I bought, I, I bought cranberry. And it'll tell you, uh, bright ripe berries, food for grouse, native. That native is so important. Um, this is going to pull in more wildlife into our back, our, our little forest in the back, our foresty swamp. Sugar maple, service berry, elderberry. I bought elderberries again. Um, I want a weeping willow. I didn't buy one this time yet. Siberian crab, apple, choke, cherry, butterfly bush. Uh, 
uh, crab apple, blueberries, we got blueberries, raspberries, black cherry, birch, I think I bought a black cherry. Now we're doing seed packs. You can see they've got the lupin, wet metal, midwest metal, monarch, butterfly, wildlife. Now we've got garden kits. So let's say that you're just starting out and you want to do the whole garden. They got a pollinator. Um, a hundred dollar a kit, but if you look, it's got 38 plugs that cover 38 square feet at one foot spacing, up to 37 square feet at one and a half spacing. Comes an information sheet. Each plant is individually tagged for identification. All tags include plant height and requirements, so you can lay it out at your space. I mean, 38 plugs. So they're less than $3 a piece. And they're all native. So you've got your, your specialist garden, uh, all, se all season blooms, the diversity of flowers, shapes to appeal to different bees and pollinators. All this goes up monarch, butterfly, rain garden. Uh, that was really important out in Washington. Wild bird garden. That would be cool to get. And then, so there's this. Now here's a plant. This is different, a different pickup time. They have plants too. So let's look at what we've got. They've got a uh, blue. Oh, you can just look. I'm not going to read all of them to you. Um, wild columbine. Now remember, these are all native. These are all perennials. They're not gonna, these aren't annuals. These aren't something you buy every year. You buy these in a bergamot, you use that for tea. Black eyed Susans, I just love those. White turtle head, white, I, white, what? Lilac iris, purple coneflower. Those are medicinal. Most of this stuff is medicinal in here because they're native. Um, fireweed, I want to get some fireweed. I bought milkweed last year. Okay, so here, now look at these seedlings. This is the price that's going to kill you. So let's say I, I got hazelnuts. I paid $27 for 10 of them. For 10, $27. For a, gonna be something that's going to provide fruit and, and stuff. Not fruit, but bear, uh, nuts. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't had my coffee yet. It just finished. Crab apple, dogwood, PG. PG hydrangeas, you can get one for 29 or 10 for $29. They have lilac in here. I always thought it'd be so cool to have like a lilac shrub, uh, like a lilac bush hedge. Look at that, $31 and I get 10 of them. $73 and I get 25. $138, I can get 50. So I know a lot of like landscape places. Well, now when you get to the blueberries, you know, not as good. But you really can't. I mean, last year I got the cedar, um, which I think it's such a good price. Look at that. Mm, what did I get? I got the black spruce. I got 25 for $19. That's not a bad deal. And that's like a wild girl, but I, I want a, like a, I want a more visible fetch. First, it'll like help keep the um, dust from coming in off the dirt roads, but it gives us a little more privacy and it gives the animals privacy, the wildlife. They've got a, more of a place to hide and it will cut down on the wind shear in the winter time. I mean, not a lot right away, but eventually we'll cut down. So anyway, then we got more down here, fruit trees again. So if you're looking to invest in this, this is what you can do. Um, like this is my Chippewa Loose Mackinac Conservation District and you can buy your trees and stuff. They will have, it's a tree and a plant sale. The plant sale is just a little later picker. So you pre-order your trees, the pre-order is due Wednesday, April 12th um, by 4.30. And then the pickup is, page. here's your pickup dates. So you are going to have to do the pickup. They do not do delivery. But it's it's in town. It's not that far from me. So it's not a big deal for me to pick it up. It's pretty easy. Um, download the sample sheet. I was reading the water thing for the water testing. Pretty cool. I'll test your water too if you're one of the first 20 people there. I'd be interested to have my water tested. It's 
supposedly it was tested by, we have a water softener system and they supposedly tested it. But So get a hold of your district. I know that uh, the first year you were here, I didn't find this. So I ended up going downstate to, they had a plant sale and I bought a bunch of stuff. And uh, bought it from there and brought it up and planted it. I think, I think it lived. I've planted so much stuff back out in the forest and it's hard to find it because <laughs> I didn't, even though I tie, even if I tie the markers to it, they're hard to find later because the markers don't stay on forever. And so I know, did I buy that? I, I want a walnut tree, but it kills the ground around it and stuff. It's not a, the, the other plants don't like to live underneath walnut trees and so I want to put it way out like on the edge of the forest because I would like to have walnuts I love walnuts it would be nice to be able to go out and pick them I don't know if, if I bought one if I would ever get to pick them I'm getting kind of old but it'd be worth a try I mean I should be able to bend over in my 80s my dad can so there we go try checking out your county uh, if you do, if you don't find one for your county, try a combination of the counties around you if you live out in a really rural district. Or give your county a call. I don't know who would know. Um, I never did. Did I get a hold of MSU? I don't know if I even bothered. I've gotten a hold of them several times and have just not had the best results and replies from them. So I try. Try your extension offices. Your county extension, uh, MSU. Or if you're in Georgia, try Georgia State University. If you're in Arizona, try Arizona State University. you got to get hold of a state university because those are your agricultural colleges and those are the ones that have all these problems. Then get a hold of your county. Uh, there is a Chippewa County in Minnesota that, oh my God, I wish I lived there. Because they have all the farming equipment to rent. They've got a no-till drill seeder. They've got uh, hog brush hogs. They've got hog brushes. I never get that right. They've got all that equipment you can rent. And it's it's relatively inexpensive compared to like renting it out. You know, having to buy one. Or paying somebody else to do it. You need to know how to do it, but I could show you how. So, there you go. Check out your uh, conservation districts. And see what kind of plant sales they've got. Because, and master gardeners have sales, good sales too. And native stuff that's going to grow in your area you're paying wholesale because they're not making a profit at all but a little bit of profit they roll over right back into their uh into the conservation district to do these kinds of things so even if they did make a little bit of profit like the master gardener plant sale all that was turned back over to community gardens we put it all back into educational programs and schools community gardens Nobody on the board got a paycheck. Nobody got paid to do any of the work there. It's strictly volunteer. It's it's what keeps, you know, a lot of stuff going. It's what a resource for people. And I think that we should pay more attention. Spend your money here before you spend it someplace. It's like Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart, which, you know, you know, they have a Walmart and they make... 15 million dollars a year out of that store and they donate you know 500 Ooh, ooh wee wow okay guys there you go have a good morning bye